Hands, hey, well, this is Francisco from On Sure Doctor Phone. And if there's one common issue that I've come across, is an error regarding data transfers from my Android phone to my computer and vice versa. Here are going to be seven tips for fixing that file transfer issue. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So there are going to be various reasons why your Android device is probably not able to transfer data at this time. Though Android file transfer is a very effective application for transferring data, the restrictions limit the activities for the most part. And when it comes to different devices, this does tend to be true whether you're on Mac or on PC. So it is going to be essential to install Android file transfer on your computer in order to transfer files from Android to your computer as this is going to be a necessity, especially if, if you're going to do so on a Mac, for instance, that it does strongly benefit from this. Now, when Android file transfer could not connect to the device, you might find that Android file transfer is not really working properly. So here are going to be some things that could be causing these issues. A file transfer feature is probably not enabled on your Android mobile or tablet. Your USB cable is probably defective. Your Android device or computer is not compatible with Android file transfer. At this time, your computer's USB port may be not damaged at some point, and you have installed Samsung keys or Samsung smart switch on your computer, which could interfere with Android data transfer. Here are going to be those seven tips that I alluded to earlier that I believe are going to be some of the most helpful ones out there when it comes to getting you ready. So tip number one, always ensure that the original USB cable provided with your Android device or a genuine one, for instance, is going to be compatible with your device. So that, that way you don't have any kind of weird connection issues along the way. When the USB cable is at fault, you won't be able to connect your Android device to your computer at all, or at the very least, not properly. It's going to deter data transfer in some ways, no matter what software you're using in order to facilitate the process. And if your USB cable is, is damaged or, or doesn't support the device on your computer, then do make sure to replace it right away. And number two, in case Android file transfer cannot connect to the device, even after replacing the faulty USB cable, the file transfer settings might be preventing the connection between your Mac and Android device. And you can fix this by allowing the file transfer to go through. So after connecting your Android phone to your computer, just go ahead and unlock your phone. And then you're going to see a pop-up window and then go ahead and tap on the USB connectivity option from the notification bar. And on your Android phone, all that you have to do is just go ahead and click on the file transfer mode option. And it's going to enable the file transfer option on your device and you should be good to go from there. And tip number three is probably that you might be using an older version of Android. Usually updating to the latest version of Android is the best way to go. So do not forget to do so. It is very important as it might actually cause compatibility issues if you're using older versions of Android. So I strongly recommend that you do go into your system settings and make sure that you update Android right away or just to make sure that your Android device is indeed up to date. You can check for an updated version of the Android OS on your device by browsing onto your settings and scroll to the settings menu down and then tap on the boat phone. And then tap on system update from the list of the options there and then you should be able to pick it just fine. And now for tip number four, have you also considered using Dr. Phone? Uh, well, Dr. Phone is going to be our own software that is very reliable in a lot of aspects, specifically when it comes to data transfers. So do make sure to download a Dr. Phone from the link in the description as it is going to be super helpful. And then make sure to plug in your phone from there. Now you're gonna have to pick out what kind of data it is that you would like to transfer onto your computer. And then make use of the buttons on the navigation bar and then go ahead and click on photos for instance. And I'll hit the add icon available just below the home button and then go ahead and choose add file slash add folder option from the drop down menu and just depending on your requirements of course and then locate the desired photos that you wish to transfer over from your your Android device. And it could also be just a regular PC too, as I have been using for this example. And then lastly, go ahead and hit on open. And your transfer will then be initiated. And after the process completes, I just go ahead and repeat the process for all other data types that you wish to transfer over from there. And if you're using a Samsung device specifically that could not connect through Android file transfer, then the reason may just be that Samsung keys or Samsung smart switch are installed on your computer. These apps are not compatible with Android file transfer at all, so you do need to get rid of them first. 
go ahead and uninstall them and then try connecting and transferring data once more as you normally would. So that would be for tip number five. And as for tip number six, when Android file transfer cannot connect to your device, you need to check whether the Android file transfer is of the latest version or if it's corrupted in some way. Older or corrupted versions of software applications usually completely destroy uh, the performance aspect here and can just cause the app to malfunction at all times, which is usually the case for Android file transfer as well. And in this scenario, you can just go ahead and reinstall the software and then try to connect the Android device with your computer just like so. Now, reinstalling a fresh version of the software is going to fix most of these related issues, so that should be a pretty good way to go about it. To allow data transfer between your Android device and, and your computer, allowing USB debugging is usually essential. Unless you enable this, uh, your computer can't really detect your Android device properly. And as a result, Android file transfer cannot connect your Android phone to your computer at all and initiate the process. Uh, so you're just going to be the quickest way to do so. Uh, go ahead and browse your settings and then go down to about phone and scroll down to your build number. And I'll go ahead and hit that build number approximately seven times. And then you're going to get a message that's going to say that you now have access to your developer options. Next, you have to get into your developer options and ensure that USB debugging has been selected over here. And I'll retry it if it doesn't work, it should be able to work already. And when the USB debugging option is finally enabled, you can see your device is finally being detected by your computer, and then you can finally get to work from there. And that's it. Those have been our top seven tips for fixing any Android file transfer issues. Leave a like if you like this video, and then comment any of your questions down below. Also, do make sure to subscribe for more content just like this moving forward. So now, until next time, enjoy.